All right, guys, welcome to episode 66 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Remy over here snoozing. Yo, yo. We're back with another one, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Thumbs up. Go down. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description and get you some merch. You know what I'm saying? Facts, we got facts. that. We got the motherfucking link there. And it's much love from everybody. We hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Good New Year's. We hope everybody was safe. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, was responsible. And they're drinking Chilling. and they're smoking. And you know what I'm saying? We, we send good vibes to everybody. We hope everybody had a blessed fucking holiday season, man. But, yeah, we back with another one. How you feeling today, John and Bold? Nah, we cooling, man. We chilling. We had a couple drinks. I'm cooling, bro. I'm, I'm a few brews in right now. And, you know, we just been vibing, man. We've been out here. We had a good holiday, like you said. You know, we've been vibing with the Thanks. fam. Yeah, uh, man. And we apologize, you know. Like, we, we haven't been as consistent in this last month. But it was the end of the year. We were, you know, we're, we're in the process of moving. We actually just got a new spot. So, you know what I'm saying? Praise God. We, we got our spot. It's been a lot going on in the last month, in the last couple of weeks, but you know what I'm saying? We're back at it, and um, yeah, man, we appreciate everybody that's, that's fucking still rocking, man, for sure. Fuck yeah. Sure, sure. Fucking yeah. There's there's a lot of things that, we, you know, we've been discussing lately, you yeah, know what man. I mean? Let's get into it. Yo, Let's social media, man, it. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of the social media shit, bro. I'm tired of everybody lying. I'm tired Facts. of everybody faking this, faking that. Like, just shut up, man. You know what bro, I mean? Like, that's why I got off of Facebook like two years ago, and I haven't been back since. For real? Yeah, I haven't had a Facebook in like two years. Damn, I mean, it has been a while. I haven't seen you in a while. Because it's fucking ass. Everybody's negative as fuck and shading, you know, like throwing shade at each other, like subliminally yeah. and shit. It's like, bro. I mean, I find that on every social media, but, yeah, especially, but especially on Facebook. On Facebook. Facebook. Especially on Facebook. Yo, Facebook be like, yo, like, I don't it's know. It's toxic, bro. I don't even know how to explain it. Like the most toxic damn bitch I'm fucking you nasty Yo, nose you ever fuck. feel like you got a fucking booger and you- My dog just picked COVID straight out his fucking nostril and flicked it on the wall. No, but anyways, yeah, man. Just fucking- <laughs> 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 Yo, bro, I got something in my nose. Fuck them. No, fuck out of here. Fucking, um, it's cocaine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, fuck no. That explains a lot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> fucking, nah, man, but everybody be fake on there, bro. Nah, Facebook, yeah, man. man. Like, That's why if you want to if you wanna find a shorty, you know, you find a shorty attractive and you're like, yo, let's see what's up with this girl right quick. You know yeah. Saying? You got to go to the tags photo. Yeah. You gotta go to the photos, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that they tagged in. Yo, that that off guard picture is what she really looks like. Facts. Not that filtered bullshit. Facts. Like not that filtered bullshit. Like that's what I always go a through. Like I had a, 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 you know, who was telling me that sway. So it was like, yo, bro, I have a buddy of mine. He was telling Shout me, out to sway, bro. yeah, bro, Love like you, bro. he's a buddy of ours. But I had a conversation with him, and we were talking about women, you know, and like what how, how to pick up women or or how to how to find the right one through the internet at least at least through the internet. And I was That's like, bro, crazy. like, what do you do? And he's just like, bro, like, you go through the tag photos. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Smart. Like, I didn't think about that, man. I mean, I've done it a couple of times. And I'm like, man, she does look different bro. compared to the profile picture or the, the picture that she posted. Like, It looks like a different bitch. It does. It looks crazy, man. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just judgmental. I'm an asshole. I don't know. But you nah, just. I feel like it's just social media, period, bro. I got people thinking that people are something they're not. Like yeah. these filters, and then like people standing in front of fucking rentals, and then standing in front of Airbnbs, acting like the house is theirs. There's so much fuckery going on on social media, bro. Yeah, it make it, it it's it makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, man, to me. Um, but social media started changing, like I would say about maybe 2010, 2009. Yeah, that's when it really started taking off. That's when yeah. you're like, yo, like that's everybody was on social media, bro. Everybody's on social media, and you can't like you're not part of society if you're not now it's weird like i don't know how to explain it. yeah like if you don't got an instagram it's like oh you fake and it's like but it, i mean i want to say fake but it's like you're disconnected you yeah know? yeah i mean like, like you're a fake like like profile because to be honest with you bro like whenever i meet somebody online like i've done it before i'm pretty sure y'all done it too facts. you know what i'm saying so don't try to be lying you gotta make yeah. sure that shit ain't fake yeah bro. so give like, me an ig on. you gotta give me something because if you don't have anything then what why are you hiding like what the fuck is wrong with you you gotta have something Facts. You gotta have something. Facts. Snapchat. I mean, some people probably don't. There is some. Enough. Very, very, very few people don't fucking, you know what I'm saying? Don't have some type of social media. But 
it's just a preference, man. So, y'all, go down in the comments. Let us know if you have social media. If you don't, what social media you got. All that good shit, man. We want to know. We want to know. We Personally, know all. all I have is fucking Instagram. That's it. I don't have Twitter. I don't have this Facebook. fucking I guy. Else. This fucking guy is not. He wasn't really connected with with the world like that, bro. I. Yeah, nah. I'm. I'm not. I'm just different, man. I'm not the type of person that needs to be on social media all day. I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Um. I understand it. What like I understand it's used for like businesses and you can grow your business, but most people don't use it for what it's there for. Yep. You know they yep. they misuse it and then it's like. It's just it, it makes me not want to fucking be on there, bro. You look at some people's profile pictures. You swear these people are the happiest people in the fucking world. And meanwhile, they're in debt. They're miserable as fuck about to get a divorce. They don't get along with their kids. Yeah, it's for like, real. Yeah, it's like yo, they post like they're like the best parent in the fucking oh world. My God. I know like... some niggas like that. Guys, please stop doing that for real. <laughs> like, if you're not a good dad, bitch, stop fucking posting shit. Stop posting shit like you're the number one dad in the world. Out here with the kids, nigga. That's the first time in two years. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Yo, I tired of these people, bro. I hate lying yo, ass people, bro. Yo, bro, like I'm tired of it, bro. I hate lying people, bro, and I hate negativity. Like I, I hate negative people. Yeah. Like every time you tell them, like you give them a solution, they find an excuse. Those negative, negative, negative minded people, bro. Is they're they're the some of the worst people to fucking be around. Yeah, it's like... Because it doesn't matter what you say, they're going to find a reason to why you shouldn't do it or why it won't work. Yep. Instead of looking for that one reason. They'll give you 10,000 reasons to why it won't work, but they can't come up with one to why it will. Exactly. You know, it's like, yeah. come on, bro. Exactly. And that's that's kind of like, it's dangerous. Those people are fucking dangerous. You gotta... You they're really... dangerous to you. They're dangerous to themselves. They're dangerous to their own future, bro, because nobody wants to be around them. Yeah, it's like they want to act like the victim or some shit like that all the time, too. And it's like, bro, like, listen, bro, everybody's a victim in life. Everybody goes through something. And at the end of the day, it's up to you to get the fuck up and fight back. Yeah. Period, bro. Ain't nobody going to fight your battles for you, bro. Nah, for real. And it's like, I, I hate that shit, man. I hate that. Because, yo, bro, don't get me wrong, bro. There's some days where I'm like, man, fuck everybody. Fuck the world. Of Why course. is me? Why me? You know what I mean? But it's like. I, I stopped that though. You know what I mean? I stopped that. Like, I try my hardest to stop that because it's like, yeah. yo, there's always a positive out of a negative. Facts. It's a mentality, yeah. man. And, and I got to catch myself. I get, I get, I don't know, man. I get mad really quick. And it, it, it's always with stupid shit. Bigger problems, I'm better at handling than smaller ones. I don't even understand why. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's the smaller shit that irks me, bro. But it's like, it's something that you got to work on. It's a mentality, man. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't be negative, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in something. Well, I mean, yeah, it's 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 literally a fact, though. There's always a positive out of a neck. Like seriously, it's it really like when is. I when someone told me that, I was like, man, it's true. Like, and it, you always gotta look at the better side of things, man, because like, bro, I noticed that shit, bro, about negative, like, bro, negativity could really fuck you up, yeah, bro. It could fuck up. It could it could hold you back. It yeah. could hold you back a lot in life. Yeah, because like, there's some bad things that yeah. can happen, man. Horrible bad things can yeah, happen. Negativity. I feel like negative negativity and um self confidence go hand in hand with a lot of things in a lot of situations. Like a lot of people are negative because they don't have self confidence. So if you tell them, Hey, why don't you try this? They're like, Oh, I can't because I, I'm not good enough or because of whatever reason, whatever they start telling themselves in their head. And it's like, bro, you gotta try it. Like you might not be good at it, but it's probably because you've never done it and you've never done it consistently. Like, shout out to my sister. I love you. I was talking to her about it earlier today where she was like, yo, I've been trying and this and that. Like, I've been trying to run the business. And I'm like, have you really, though? Like, have you really been trying? Did you really put in the work? Are you trying to trick your own brain into thinking that you're working harder than you actually are? Yep. And you're trying to give yourself more credit than you deserve. Yep. Because sometimes we got to look at the situation and, and be real with ourselves, bro. And be like, yo, like, I haven't been doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I haven't been putting in the work I'm supposed to be putting in. So. I can't expect the fruit, you know, to, yeah. to come from the labor. Yeah, because you haven't really put in fucking labor. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy, man. Uh, yeah, I noticed that too, man. It's like a lot of people need to like really put in the work, bro. Like when it comes to like really wanting something, like Eric Thomas, remember when he was like, yo, you really need to like want it like you want to breathe. Yeah, no, nah, like facts. That, that's, that's like fucking that's, facts. That's like a real fucking saying, bro, because like. Bro, whenever I feel like I'm at the mentality now where like if I feel like like video games, I love playing video games, bro. I love it. 
I love it, man. It's one of my things, man, especially Call of Duty. But when I get on, you know, the internet or when I'm on, like, just on social media too, bro. You know what I mean? Everything. If I'm playing a video game or something, I feel like I'm wasting my time, bro. I don't know, man. When it comes to, like, certain things, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like it, it all depends on how you look at it because um, I was listening to this video, Bandman Kevo, and he makes bread, bro. Like, you know, he, he's a good businessman, and he was talking about, he's like, He's like, you could look at a situation. It's about how you look at a situation. For example, the PS5. He's like, the PS5 could be a waste of money or it could be a great investment. You could buy a PS5, start streaming, and in a year, you could be making bread off of Twitch. You could be making bread off of this. You could be making bread off of that. Now, if you just go home and fucking use it for nine hours a fucking night to really do nothing with it, it's the same thing with social media. The same exact shit. Yep. It's about how you utilize it. How you use it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not using it for to better yourself then you're not using it correctly yep so it's all it all depends on how you look at it and how you use it yep you know, and that's there's streamers yep. out here that bought the ps5 nigga and they've already made it back times 10 because of the views you know what i'm saying like they it's like they didn't even buy the ps5 like they, they didn't come out of pocket for it yep so it's like it yep. all depends on how you look at a situation man but how you value something it. that you you know i feel like most people agree on is um is wasting time bro Wasting time is one of the most dangerous things that you could do in your life, bro. Just wasting time. Again, if you're going to be on social media, use it towards your favor. If you're going to be playing video games six hours a night, nigga, record it and put it up. At least record it and put it up. You're already doing it. You're already spending the time on it. At least put up the video and you could get a reward from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't waste don't waste time, bro. Wasted time is, is the worst thing in the world. It's worse than wasting money. You could get a hundred million, lose it, and get two hundred million back. You can't get ten years back from your life. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's yep. like, yeah, that's true, man. Fuck, man, it's true. Fucking life, bro. You know what I mean? I was telling my brother, I was talking to him today. It's about value. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Value and time, and, and and what you put your value into. What you put your value into, and what value you bring to the fucking world. Yeah. Like, everybody wants to get paid fucking $30 an hour, but, nigga, you're not bringing any value to the company. You didn't bring anything to the company. All you did was bring your ass. That's it. Yeah. You want to you wanna raise. Yeah, showing right? up is, like, fucking 10%. Bro, being nice doesn't get you a raise. Being nice doesn't get you a raise. Yep. Showing up on time doesn't get you a raise. Nope. What gets you a raise is accountability, bro, and progress, like numbers, getting shit done. Yep. That's why, you, like, you see these people at the top. They're a lot of a lot of you know more successful people. They're not pleasant. Like when you meet them in person, they're not the nicest person. They're not the warmest hearted person. They don't. They probably don't give a fuck about you, and they'll let you know. But it's like that. It's not about that. Like they know how to be efficient. Efficiency is what gets it done. Not being nice. Nobody gives a fuck about how nice you are. I mean, they might. You know, it adds to it. Yeah. But that's not what it's about. Like when it comes to when it comes to business, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't know, man. Bro, I, I, listen, guys, business and feelings do not belong together. Yeah, they don't. They don't. When it comes to numbers and all that shit, yeah, that that's that's definitely. But when it comes to like a personal like relationship with whoever you're doing business with, yeah, I mean, they they gotta like you. I feel like they don't. Sometimes they do. I don't feel like they do. I mean, it depends. There's people that do business with each other that don't fucking, they can't stand each other. Well, I mean, like, there's they different. Just do, they, good, they do good business. Bro, business and feelings don't. Yeah. You leave you leave your feelings at home. Yeah, you, yeah. But, you leave but, your feelings for your family, your kids, yeah. your friends. I'm talking about, like, like, a podcast business or, like, something that's, like, on a personal level, like, where, like, people need to, like, know your personality. Like, that's. That's what I meant. Like when it comes to like business, like what you're talking about, like numbers and shit and all that other shit, like, you know, doing an exchange and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like a business like that. Yeah. That, feelings mean, don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? I There's no like, feelings in that. I feel like it, it doesn't matter, period. Like yeah. as long as it's efficient and it works. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to fucking like each other. Yeah. I mean, like for a podcast. I mean, yeah. for People got to like you, bro. For a podcast, <laughs> it's different. It's yeah, different. But yeah. the podcast is one side yeah. of it. The business yeah, is a yeah. whole other That's side. That's whole side of it. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it's two business, different sides of it. Yeah. Like, when it comes down to straight business, you got to leave your fucking feelings out of it. That's what. Um, that's why, like, uh, what's that one guy from Shark Tank? The bald guy, he talks about it. He's like, bro, you got to be willing to fire your own mom. Yep. So, guess what? You got to put your feelings aside because it's business. Mom, I'm sorry, but you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're fired. Yep. Feelings aside, when I get home, you're still my fucking mom. Yeah, I still love you. Yeah. I'm still gonna do you know what I do with you, but it's yeah. like 
when it comes to this business, it's business, period. Yep. Like, it's numbers and it's business. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it helps, bro. It helps if you like each other because it makes it easier. It makes it easier to deal with each other. Yep. But trust me, there's million, millionaires and billionaires that fuck with each other on business level that and they don't even like each other and they it's just like, do it because they know they make good money with it yeah like on a timeshare like if yeah. like when i was selling the timeshare like you had like to to make the people like you bro like you know what i mean like that's another way of looking at it too as business is like yo like if you're selling something to somebody like you always got to make them like you and that was the number one rule you gotta you gotta appease to them yeah, yeah exactly. you gotta make sure that they're happy because they're not gonna buy anything off you if they don't like you i disagree I don't know unless you, they unless they want it. You've never you've unless never, they want it. You've never seen the owner of Rolls Royce. Yeah, you've never seen him. You've never seen him. Yeah, he could be a fucking dick. Yeah, for real. But that's what it, like you don't. People don't need to even know who you are. They don't need to like you. If you put out a good product, they're gonna fucking buy it. Yeah, they're gonna. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah, if they want it. Exactly. My point. If, if they a, want if it. If it's a good. Product, but if you're gonna sell, if like I'm talking about, these people are not coming into this building. For a timeshare, they're coming because they're getting a free package, a cruise. They're coming for a free week at the stay at the resort. So they're not coming there. So you gotta make, you gotta, you gotta build a, a personal relationship with these people. And when we did training and shit like that, you gotta build a relationship like that so they like you, so they can actually buy the shit off you. You know what I mean? So they're not coming there mentally like oh, I'm gonna. They're actually preparing themselves not to buy the timeshare. Right. Course, you know what I mean? So whole, yeah, that's the whole yeah. Thing, so but... it's like it's, it's there's like two different sides to it. So if they if you're selling something that where they 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 don't fucking they don't have to like you and they just come in there and they want it, then fucking so fucking be it. Fuck this guy. I just want it. it you depends, know what I mean? It, it yeah. depends on where like what part of the market. You're yeah, at. You're exactly. Right. You're right. Yeah. But that's like you're saying that's that's lower level. Like yeah. the niggas that own the company are doing that. They don't give a fuck if you like them or not. Yep. Because they're gonna their shit's gonna make money. That's what I'm saying. Like yep. when it comes to certain shit. Like, like y'all go down in the comments and let us know who you agree with. If you yeah. agree with John, if you know, if you have to like somebody to be able to do business with them, or yep. if it, if that shit don't really matter, if you do good business, you could be a dick and, and it don't matter do business with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I I, for, I feel like it it doesn't matter too much. It just helps out. Yep. You know yeah, it saying? helps out. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, man, fucking summer 2021, guys. Summer 2021. I have big dreams, big aspirations, big ass. Operations. Damn. I really, <laughs> I really fucking. Uh, I thought I said big ass. Big aspirations, but not for real, bro. Uh, I really hope everything's open back up because if summer is back and popping in 2021, yo, after having no summer last year, motherfuckers are clapping, bro. Bro, bitches is gonna be fucking right on the dance floor. Yo, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yo, bitches already on the dance floor of masks right There's now. But you know what? They're nah, going to be with no mask. Listen, listen, and I need listen. no mask, bro. I don't I think need... you understand. There's going to be so much ass shaking. All the girls that stayed home quarantining that didn't go to the club are going to be there. Bro. If everything's open back up and they say it's safe, they're going to be there shaking ass till the fucking bro, when, sun come out. When things go back to normal without masks, bro... <laughs> Things will be normal, bro. I can be able to look at somebody. You bitches and... are going to have to start waxing that upper lip again. Nah, for real. <laughs> God damn, bro. Nah, bro. The people that are ugly, y'all need to hide again, bro, and not damn. come out. Yeah, y'all going to be hurting when that motherfucking nah, mass shit is over. I'm just playing, bro. But I feel like it's going to be for everything, man. I feel like it's going to be like two or three people out of like 100 that's still going to be doing it because they just want to hide from society. You know what yeah. I mean? Think about it, bro. Like, do you ever feel like, I ain't going to lie. When I started, when this mask just started happening, I feel like when I put on a mask and I put on a hat, I'm like, man, no one knows who I am. No one. But like I, do. like I can hide, nah. and and that's what I thought until I've started. I, all right, so I'm not. If I really want to hide, bro, I really got to start hiding my fucking hat, bro. Be, like my head, bro, because or something, bro. Because like I was walking with the mask and I'm walking out of Walmart, and then somebody's like, "Yo, John," I'm like. Bro, you can this tell motherfucker knew who I was and couldn't even see half of my face. Yeah, it's probably facts. my big ass head. Uh, yeah, facts. Big ass forehead. Try my ass, but that's crazy, <laughs> man. But like me, me as a person, like I feel like it's gonna. It just separates people, bro, and like it makes people like not really want to like be part of society. Man, I fucking tell you what I feel, bro. I feel that COVID straight bullshit, my nigga. Let's get straight to the shit. So let's I get think straight it, to the point. I think it I, is too. I think that COVID. COVID is straight bullshit. I think that it, this was a giant fucking finesse to 
to make a vaccine that they're going to make trillions of fucking dollars off of, and they're making billions of trillions of dollars off of the fucking medical system right now. Like, it, it's all a big, to me, it's all a big fucking scam. It's all a big game, bro. And the people at the top are going to benefit. The people at the bottom are scared shitless. They're jobless. They can't go nowhere. They can't do nothing. But the rich are getting richer. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I just feel like a straight bullshit, bro. I feel like, and I feel like once people, you know, realize that shit, it's like, come on, bro. Now the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? They're talking about the fucking, there's, there's a new strain that mutated. Well, bitch, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm not, how the fuck are you going to guarantee me the vaccine works? No, they're not guaranteeing people any type well, of refund or you. reinsurance that, like, yo, we're going to help you, like, repay you for this fucking malfunction that happened in the injection because people are getting sick. And you know what, bro? That tells you right there that they don't give a fuck about the people. If they don't give a fuck about what the fuck happens to you, that means that you're just, like, being a little fucking hamster on the fucking, like, they're, they're testing you. You bro, know what I mean? Like a little fucking rat. Yeah, you're just you a know? piece of the puzzle, bro. Yeah. Ultimately, you're just a piece of the puzzle, and that's all it is, man. You gotta know, you gotta know what's up, man. And I feel like it's bullshit. You know, I feel like, I feel like, it, like I said, it's a big scam. They're just trying to make millions and billions and trillions of dollars off of this bullshit with health insurance and fucking vaccines and all this other shit that goes into it. So, ultimately, man, that's just how I feel about it. Some people it are scared to death. Other people agree with us. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of y'all. Go down in the comments if you agree. And go down in the comments if you don't. You know what I'm saying? If you don't agree, if you think it's real, and you think we're fucking idiots, let us know. Tell yeah, us. And tell us why. You know what I'm saying? I don't tell I don't, us why. I don't think I don't think it's fucking real. Um I think it's just something I think it's just a game. I think it's actually uh like a monopoly game i feel like it's just something yeah. it's like a chess move that is actually a smart move a they're knocking down move. they're knocking down all the mom and pops uh family businesses mm -hmm. that are that are around but we got the corporation businesses still up and running you're yeah, still able you're still able to visit them you're still able to go in there and, and shop with them what about all the things that you're touching in walmart you're telling me that the mask is going to protect us from a virus a deadly virus that's killing thousands of people every day but you're able to walk in through a walmart aisle and let's just say let, let me tell you this. I, w I went Christmas shopping, and this is something that blows my fucking mind. And I was in the and I was walking around trying to find fucking kid toys, right, mm -hmm. for my fucking cousins, because all my cousins got kids and I don't. So you know, every Christmas I gotta spend fucking bread. Look at all these Barbies and shit down the fucking aisle. I'm like, how many kids fucking touch this fucking toy? How many, how many fucking parents people? came through, picked it up, put it back? They didn't want it. Their kid touched it. Look, mommy, I want it. Nobody fucking cleaned it. Nobody disinfected shit. Thousands and thousands of people probably touched that shit, to be honest, during Christmas season before somebody picked it off the shelf. And it's like, what bro, the fuck? So I don't know, man. It's, it's just bullshit, bro. It makes absolutely no sense. Like, you got to wear a mask at a restaurant, but as soon as you get to the table, you can take the shit off. So what the fuck are we doing? Like, you can sit there for 45 minutes to an hour without your mask on at the table, but. Don't let me catch you without that mask on in the five steps between the table and the door. Exactly. At fucking Islands of Adventure. What I went the to, fuck? went to a theme park and they don't even wipe down the fucking uh you know how when you grab onto for your fucking life for the fucking roller coaster where you grab onto your arms? They don't even wipe it down, bro. bro they, they don't it, wipe it down. So it's what bullshit, so man. how does that even I think it's bullshit, bro. I think that it it's it's it was an experiment. It's an experiment to see how controllable we are, how gullible we are, who's willing to listen, who's not willing to listen, who's going to be easier to, to fucking manipulate, who's not. It's just they're gathering all this data, bro. Trust me. Yep. All this data they're gathering up, and they're going to be able to use this against us later on in the future because people are too gullible, bro. They believe fucking anything. Yeah. 100,000 people died today from COVID. How the fuck do you know? Like that, that's what you see on CNN or wherever. Sixty the fuck. people per minute. Yeah, it's, it's like, like what the fuck? Nigga, How'd shut you even the fuck up? How did you even shut calculate up. that? Shut up. That doesn't make sense. I don't believe it. But yeah, if you guys believe this is a fucking true fucking virus, then let us fucking yeah, know. Yeah, let us know. Go down if in not, the comments, man. But yeah, guys, we're about to wrap this up. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Please go down in the comments and let us know. If you're rocking, if you're not, if we're idiots, if we're not, you know what I'm saying? We want to know. We want to know. Just go down in the comments and let us let know. Let me know if I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, for real. That's all we want to know. If you're a and nurse um, out there and you got the fucking definition for everything that we said, then fucking comment. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Facts. But yeah, man. Also, go down in the link. Link in the description for Dope Talk merch. Go copy some. We got shirts. We got dog hoodies. We got fucking masks. We got all this bullshit. So, um, yeah. 
Don't forget, it's been yours truly, low-key, John, Remy and this bitch. We Love out. you guys. Love you, Don't Talk family. Peace.